Millionaire, Wikipedia article audio. A millionaire is an individual whose net worth or wealth is equal to or exceeds 1 million units of currency. It can also be a person who owns 1 million units of currency in a bank account or savings account. Depending on the currency, a certain level of prestige is associated with being a millionaire, which makes that amount of wealth a goal for some and almost unattainable for others. In countries that use the short-scale number naming system, a billionaire is someone who has at least a thousand times a million dollars, euros, or the currency of the given country. Terminology Net worth versus financial assets Influence Historical worth Multimillionaire HNWI population Number of millionaire households per country by Boston Consulting Group Number of millionaires per country by Credit Suisse Number of millionaires per city United States Millionaire's Wealth Pyramid Many national currencies have, or have had at various times, a low unit value, in many cases due to past inflation. It is obviously much easier and less significant to be a millionaire in those currencies, thus a millionaire in Hong Kong or Taiwan, for example, may be merely averagely wealthy, or perhaps less wealthy than average. In 2007 a millionaire in Zimbabwe could have been extremely poor. At the end of 2017, there were estimated to be just over 15 million US dollar millionaires or high net worth individual in the world. The United States had the highest number of HNWIs of any country, while New York had the most HNWIs among cities. The word was first used in French in 1719 by Stephen Fentiman and is first recorded in English in a letter of Lord Byron of 1816, then in print in Vivian Gray, a novel of 1826 by Benjamin Disraeli. An earlier English word millionary was used in 1786 by Thomas Jefferson while serving as minister to France. He wrote, the poorest laborer stood on equal ground with the wealthiest millionary. The first American printed use of the word is thought to be in an obituary of New York tobacco manufacturer Pierre Larillard II in 1843. While statistics regarding financial assets and net worth are presented by household, the term is also often used to describe only the individual who has amassed the assets as millionaire. That is, even though the term statistically refers only to households, common usage is often in reference only to an individual. There are multiple approaches to determining a person's status as a millionaire. One of the two most commonly used measurements is net worth which counts the total value of all property owned by a household minus the household's debts. According to this definition, a household owning an $800,000 home, $50,000 of furnishings, two cars worth $60,000, a $60,000 retirement savings account, $45,000 in mutual funds, and a $325,000 vacation home with a $250,000 mortgage, $40,000 in car loans, and $25,000 in credit card debt would be worth about $1,025,000, and every individual in this household would thus be a millionaire. However, According to the net financial assets measurement used for some specific applications, equity in one's principal residence is excluded, as are lifestyle assets, such as the car and furniture. Therefore, the above example household would only have net financial assets of $105,000. 
Another term used is net investable assets or working capital. These practitioners may use the term millionaire to mean somebody who is free to invest a million units of currency through them as broker. For similar reasons, those who market goods, services, and investments to HNWIs are careful to specify a net worth not counting principal residents. At the end of 2011, there were around 5.1 million HNWIs in the United States, while at the same time there were 11 million millionaires in a total of 3.5 million millionaire households, including those 5.1 million HNWIs. In the real estate bubble up to 2007, average house prices in some U.S. regions exceeded $1 million, but many homeowners owed large amounts to banks holding mortgages on their homes. For this reason, there are many people in million-dollar homes whose net worth is far short of a million in some cases the net worth is actually negative. While millionaires constitute only a small percentage of the population, they hold substantial control over economic resources, with the most powerful and prominent individuals usually ranking among them. The total amount of money held by millionaires can equal the amount of money held by a far higher number of poor people. The Gini coefficient, and other measures in economics, estimated for each country, are useful for determining how many of the poorest people have the equivalent total wealth of the few richest in the country. Forbes and Fortune magazines maintain lists of people based on their net worth and are generally considered authorities on the subject. Forbes listed $1,645 billionaires in 2014, with an aggregate net worth of $6.4 trillion, an increase from $5.4 trillion the previous year. 16% of millionaires inherited their fortunes. 47% of millionaires are business owners. 23% of the world's millionaires got that way through paid work, consisting mostly of skilled professionals or managers. Millionaires are, on average, 61 years old with $3.05 million in assets. Depending on how it is calculated, a million U.S. dollars in 1900 is equivalent to $29.4 million. Thus one would need to have almost $30 million today to have the purchasing power of a U.S. millionaire in 1900, or more than $100 million to have the same impact on the U.S. economy. Another commonly used term is multimillionaire which usually refers to individuals with net assets of 10 million or more of a currency. There are approximately 584,000 US dollars multimillionaires worldwide in 2017. Roughly 1.5% of US dollar millionaires can also correctly be identified as ultra high net worth individuals those with a net worth or wealth of $30 million or more. There are approximately 226,000 U.S. dollars ultrahuis in the world in 2017, according to WealthX. The rising prevalence of people possessing ever-increasing quantities of wealth has given rise to additional terms to further differentiate millionaires. Individuals with net assets of 100 million or more of a currency have been termed hectomillionaires. The term centimillionaire has become synonymous with hectomillionaire in America, despite the centi prefix meaning the one hundredth of a whole, not 100, in the metric system. Offshoots of the term include pent hectomillionaire, referring to those who are halfway to becoming billionaires. In discussions on wealth inequality in the United States, hectomillionaires are said to be in the richest 0.01%, prompting calls for a redistribution of wealth. High Net Worth Individuals 
The following is a list of the countries with the most millionaire households in U.S. dollars worldwide according to the Boston Consulting Group S2017 study. Credit Suisse's Global Wealth in 2017 measured the number of millionaires in the world. According to the report, the U.S. has 15.3 million millionaires, highest in the world. The following is a list of the cities with the most number of US dollar millionaires as of December 2017. There is a wide disparity in the estimates of the number of millionaires residing in the United States. A quarterly report prepared by the Economist Intelligence Unit on behalf of Barclays Wealth in 2007 estimated that there were 16.6 million millionaires in the USA. At the end of 2011, there were around 5.1 million HNWIs in the US, while at the same time, there were 11 million millionaires in a total of 3.5 million millionaire households, including those 5.1 million HNWIs. According to TNS Financial Services, as reported by CNN Money, 2 million households in the U.S. alone had a net worth of at least $1 million excluding primary residences in 2005. According to TNS, in mid-2006 the number of millionaire U.S. households was 9.3 million, with an increase of half a million since 2005. Millionaire households thus constituted roughly 7% of all American households. The study also found that half of all millionaire households in the U.S. were headed by retirees. In 2004 the United States saw a 33% increase over the 6.2 million households that met that criteria in 2003, fueled largely by the country's real estate boom. A report by Cap Gemini for Merrill Lynch on the other hand stated that in 2007 there were approximately 3,028,000 households in the United States who held at least $1 million US dollar in financial assets, excluding collectibles, consumables, consumer durables, and primary residences. According to TNS Financial Services, Los Angeles County had the highest number of millionaires, totaling over 262,800 households in mid-2006. Los Angeles County is also the largest single jurisdiction of any kind in the United States. The diagram illustrates the global wealth range of adults who possess from 1 million US dollars to more than 50 million US dollars as published by Credit Suisse in 2013. $21.2 million using the GDP deflator, $24.8 million using the Consumer Price Index, $61.4 million using the Gold Price, $114.1 million using the Unskilled Wage, $162.8 million using the Nominal GDP per capita, $642 million using the relative share of GDP.